So I will do the introduce. I will do the measurement first for from the from the meat. Uh, you can see the meat it it has frozen, so it so it's it become hard. So let me let me uh make a hole there. Make a hole there. And then you can press the meter into there. So, so can you see that? Okay, I will see that for you. Oh, you can see the pH meter is 6.4, 6.4. So, uh, not very fresh what fresh meat, so it may not very good. You can, uh, I can check the full pH. I can check the meat pH for you. The pork, this is the pork meat. Uh, the pork pH is 5.3 to 6.9. And this meat is 6.4, so it's good. It's still good, but not very, very fresh. Okay? Okay, let's, let's uh, give you some notes. Okay? Uh, you know, the pH can. Uh, the pH can affect the food uh, flavor, uh, texture, um, safety storage, storage, you know, the crystal, uh, you need to store it in a, at a refrigerator or store it at a can, store it at a can or store it at many places. It's very important to the storage and it may also uh, affects the food fermentation, you know, the fermentation for bread, for cheese, uh, when you bake the food, you need to let the food swell up, so it's very important the fermentation, so if the pH is, is too low, maybe the flavor is sour, if it's higher, it may be, uh, become bitter and sweet but not all the product is not all the food is it the food ph is all um the food is always uh acidity acidity acid but some of food are highly acid and some of the food is low acid so we can see this meat is 6.4 it's almost almost come to seven so it's low acid and you can see, oh, let me do the second measurement for you. Oh, oh, uh, after each measurement, you need to put it to the water and to clean it, dry it, dry it, and do the second measurement. Okay, you can see the value has changed. It changed to 500. 5.7 5.7 is for the this cake yeah you know this cake let's see what is the best pH for bread uh, okay from 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 my from from my brain is uh Five to six point five, so it's five point five point seven two, so it's grade two. It's grade two. So, so if you are a bakery man, you need to make the bread or at your home or at the bakery. You probably need this one because it's very important for the uh, fermentation. pH is very important for the fermentation. For example, you make a bread. If you want it to swell up to become bigger and softer and you need to keep the pH at uh, acidic, acidic so you need to make the big acid water and the yeast should be acid so so then the bread can become better uh, it is said that the bread at 5.5 pH is the best taste bread. You can try it and you can buy our pH meter. And Christine, what's the price for it? The price is 
uh, 70, the original price is 17 to 30. Now we can get the price as 56. 1780 to, to 1486. 1486. Very, very preferential. Very preferential. Very big discount. Do you feel moved? If you feel moved, make an order. Okay? You can press the link there, press the link, and then you will get it. The best price now. Okay? And let me do the second second measurement for you. Okay, this is the fruit. You can see this is the orange. Oh, oh, I forget to clean the frog. Okay, let me clean the frog and then uh, dry it. Oh, Okay, let's see. This pH is Oh, this pH is 3.98. 3.98 is very, very good. Oh, it came to 4, 4.09. So you can see it's the highly acid food. Highly acid food, you know. The low, high, low acid food is the pH from uh, 4.6 to uh, 7. And the highly acid food is the 0. 0 to 4.8 pH. So this one can be very good with store. Because you know, in the storage, in the food processing in factory, the pH is very important. They, uh, they calculate it into the highly acid food to low acid food. The highly acid food can be stored more easier than the low acid food. If you have the low acid food, you must be very careful to store it, like this one. Like this one, you can see, it can't eat. You need to make it completely no oxygen. Because you know that the 4.6 will have the volatile liner. Volatile liner. Yeah, it may bring illness for you. It will bring the bone illness to you. It may weaken your muscle. We can you breathe and uh, it may even make you die. So it's very important for full storage. So let's test this pH for you, okay? Uh, you can see this is a canned fish. Okay, let me make a hole there. Let's see if that is too hard, make a hole there. Okay, uh, clean this probe. Everyone, do you like it? If you like it, press like for me. Okay. Let's see what's the pH for it. Oh, you can see it jumped to 5.85. So you can see it's the low acid food. It's 5.86 now. 5.86. So so it need to be canned in this this can. So you can see. So you can see the pH is very important for the full storage. Okay? Oh, 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 clean the probe and dry it. Let's do the, let, let's do the nest, nest. Okay, you can see it has been frozen, so it's a little hard. Okay, let's see what's the pH for it. Okay, it come to it come to five point seven three five point seven three. Okay, let's see what's the cucumber pH for it. Let's see what's the cucumber pH. Oh, the cucumber pH is five point one to five point seven. Okay, let's see what is it. Oh, it's five point seven four. So it's a little, a little expired, but it's good too. It's still good. 
but it's not very fresh because I have frozen it. You can see I have peeled it and I have put it in the refrigerator for a while, so it's not very fresh. Okay, you can see this meter is very accurate, very accurate. It can uh, up to 0 0.1 pH accuracy. Okay, let's do the next. Okay, you can see this probe? Probe? Uh, uh, this is the grape, grape, grape. Grape is very important for wine, okay? It's 3.8, yeah, grape is always acid, highly acid, it's 3.8. So you can see there is many grape juice, wine, and made by grape. What is the pH for it? Uh, it's 3.4 to 4.5. 3.4 to 4.5. And what's the pH before? Let me see. It's 5, 3.49. Oh, you can see the grape is very good. Very fresh now. Okay. Okay, do you know I want to share one thing to you, okay? Uh, do you know if you are making the wine, the grape wine, or oh, the drink, uh, the alcohol wine, uh, you need to control the pH very much, you know. Uh, if the pH is over 3.8 or 4, uh, it, may, it may taste sweet and it, it's not wine, it's not health alcohol. Because it, because it uh, the yeast, it needs the certain pH to become the alcohol and the sugar, so, so if the pH is too high, maybe it cannot make the most better wine for you. And, and it's very important, right? So if you have local uh, wine maker there, you probably need this one. And if you are a local health seller, you can sell, them, sell it to them. It's very bad seller, yeah. Okay, okay, let me clean it and do the next measurement. Okay, this is the cheese. The cheese is also very important. The, the pH is very also very important for cheese too. Uh, you can see the cheese pH is 5, 5, 5. Um, uh, the pH need to go the, post, the fermentation too, so if you Make cheese, you need to be certain with the pH. Okay, let's see the gel. gel. Oh, it's a little hard there, and let me just here. It's 3.82, 3.82, good? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, most of the gel is the highly acid food. So you can eat it, you can see it, it can, it can, it can be packed in normal package. It doesn't need to pack in this canned food. So, so you can you can eat jar very normally, very easily. So, uh, let's see the next is the soy milk. The soy milk is 4.13, 4.13, good, good. Okay. You can see you can test the water, you can test the milk, you can test the drinking water. So if you are home home cook, you want to make sure your family's health, you can you can buy this and test the pH for your families. They will thank you very much. Okay, let's see this egg. The egg is eight point three nine. Yeah, you know the egg the white egg is the very extra food. The egg white is the alkaline food. Most of the food are as negative food, but this the egg egg white is the alkaline food. You can see it can make the bubble. It can bring. It can be bigger for bakery. So it's it's the alkaline food. Alkaline food is very good for us too. For yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's the. Uh, 